morning, day to you. How are we all today? Well, it's Friday. We've made it. We're at the end of the week. Isn't that a wonderful thought? We've got the weekend coming, so we've got that to look forward to and all the lovely things that we're going to be doing. Now, what I wanted to talk about a little bit today is the actions which we do which affect others, okay? Not the action that you take in your plan of um, accomplishing your dream, not that kind of action. It's the action that you do every single day, um, maybe aware of it, maybe unaware of it. I'm really not sure. That is a decision you have to make and you have to be honest about it and see how it affects the people that are around you. Now, as you know, on many occasions, we've spoken, um, I certainly have blogged on many occasions about toxic people, yeah? And toxic people can be found in your professional life and they can also be found in your personal life. And generally speaking, if you are trying to lead a happy, positive life and particularly reach your dreams and goals, then you need to put a little bit of a barrier, you know, around yourself against these kind of people because there will be people who wish to control your every move and this is not good because they have to distinguish the difference between um, if it's a personal relationship they need to distinguish the difference between love and control and if it is a work environment situation then they need to be able to understand the word the world of, of respect and care um, and control okay um we cannot and should not ever try to control somebody else's life it's exactly the same as when we try to control who they are and the image that they project you cannot change another person in any shape or form okay you can help them they can learn they can move in a slightly different direction but what is the core of that person who they are don't try to change them. Don't try to change them because we're not looking for robots that we can change and let them be who we want them to be. Everybody has to be their own. That's why we're all unique. It's wonderful. We're all unique. If we were all the same, goodness me, can you imagine? We'd all want to eat the same food. We'd all want to drive the same car. We'd all have the same wish and ambition. I mean, it would be dreadful. But luckily, you know, there is an abundance of absolutely everything because we are all unique and we are all so different. So when it comes to your actions um, and a situation of really it can come down to control, then you have to be very, very careful how you do that because you really can hurt people along the way and you can lose great friendships, you know, great partnerships lots of things have been lost by simple misunderstanding of when the correct words are not used and it is so important that everybody can sit and talk in a good way without the other person imposing always what they wish or the way that they see it this is where we come to a little bit the law of acceptance do you remember when i said to you you don't have to agree with everybody, but you can accept what is going on. And when you do that, you have found a little bit of inner peace because you accept what you've had to say. That's fine. That's great. But I don't have to agree with you. All right. And that should be sufficient. If there is a true friendship or if there is a real business agreement here and the, the good of the business, then that should always be sufficient the opinion of the other person is very very important and it should be taken into consideration and i repeat you do not have to agree you just need to accept you know if somebody is going down the road and they're going in a straight line and all of a sudden they would like to turn right that is their option to do that it is their choice Okay. If it's in a business agreement, then obviously you're going to need to talk about it beforehand and explain why you would like to turn right and possibly so in the same in a personal relationship. But you may find that when you sit and you talk about it, everybody agrees. Great move. Turn right. You know, but if you are angry and aggressive or just stubborn and do not wish to see that other person's point of view, then big big drifts can come about here you know you can end up with with, with holes you know that are 100 feet wide 
and it's absolutely unnecessary all the time. So what I would say to you is when you wish to express yourself, which by all means do, and somebody receiving it, by all means let that other person expre express themselves. But please respect. Be respectful when you speak out and be respectful when you receive it in. And if two people can meet in that space, then nothing's going to go wrong. You can reach a point of understanding one another, even though you disagree, you know, you can agree to disagree. And that leaves no bad feeling. There is no um, nastiness, there is no problem, you know. Life goes on just the same as it was before. It's just that each one knows where they stand and each one knows the opinion of the other. So I think that's something that you should maybe think about during the weekend and um, have a little think before you actually do or speak to somebody and just think, do I really maybe hurt somebody or deliberately say things that I know will upset them in some form? Because if you are doing that, stop it because you're wasting very very valuable energy of your own your time and it's your life do things that make you happy and more positive and you'll find that your life will be the same because what you push out comes back what goes around comes around so take that into account and let's all see if we can get a little bit of a more happy positive vibe going in our lives okay see you on monday bye for now